Bronco dragged the NFL out of the back alleys and into the American consciousness because he was so big. He was an, an enormous man. I mean, his forearms looked like a lot of people's thighs. He was 6'3", and he was 235 pounds, and he was playing fullback. And back then, the defensive guys weren't that big. You know, they were 200 to 220. Bronco ran the football like he was boiling over with rage. He was one of the greatest big running backs in the history. On offense, defense, and special teams, Bronco Nagurski punished everyone in his path. End zone to end zone, sideline to sideline. did Nagurski excel at multiple positions. He was a champion in multiple sports. These guys are making three or $4,000 a year. It's the depression. So Bronco went out and he got himself into wrestling because in football, attendance wasn't that great back then. Wrestling was. And everybody wanted to see him because he had so much notoriety. And in 1937, he actually retired to go full-time into wrestling. Just as he had the NFL, Bronco overwhelmed the wrestling world, owning the title belt in 1937, 39, and 41. By 1943, World War II had depleted Chicago's roster, forcing the Bears to try and re-enlist Nagurski. Well, George Hallis was at war, and he sent a telegram signed Bronco Nagurski. But they knew the guy hadn't played in six years. They knew his legs were dead. They knew he had gained some weight, so they put him at tackle. And he was very, very effective in 1943 as a tackle. As the uh, football season went on and on, the Army was kept drafting, you know, football players. They came to the point where they drafted all our fullbacks so that the Bears were out of fullbacks. And we were getting at the end of the season and we had a chance for the title. Some of my teammates, they suggested to, to move me back that I could still cut the buck at fullback. So in the final regular season game of 1943, Bronco was tapped to lug the leather for the first time in six years. The Bears were down 24 to 14, going into the fourth quarter. Bronco is an old man. He came off the bench and led the Bears to two touchdowns to get them into the championship game. The Bears went on to win the 1943 title, the third of Broncos' career. 20 years later, Nagurski was selected as a charter member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in what he called the most thrilling moment of his life. You have to remember him as a guy who brought a lot of attention to the NFL who won three championships, who came back after six years. Think about that. Nobody today could come back after six years and lead his team to a championship. And I think that's the real value of Bronco Nagurski. <laughs>